Henry Marsh, Do No Harm, Stories of Life, Death and Brain Surgery. And Do No Harm, Stories of Life, Death and Brain Surgery. Neurosurgeon Henry Marsh reveals the raw emotions and tough decisions that doctors face during their careers. As medical professionals climb the ladder of responsibility, they often struggle to maintain empathy and strike a balance between hope and realism, especially when it comes to making treatment choices. Through personal anecdotes and honest reflections on his own career, Marsh highlights the enduring impact that the medical profession has on those who work within it. The book examines the high-stakes world of neurosurgery, where doctors are forced to confront the potential consequences of their decisions, and in turn, their own humanity. Balancing Empathy and Realism Neurosurgeon Henry Marsh discusses the challenges faced by doctors, including the struggle to balance empathy with realism, the pressures of responsibility, and navigating the complex emotions involved in treating fellow surgeons. As Marsh's career progressed, he learned to accept failure and mistakes, recognizing that both doctors and patients share the same vulnerability and fallibility. Henry Marsh, a seasoned neurosurgeon from London, believes in sharing his experiences to help others understand the complex difficulties that doctors face, challenges often rooted in human nature rather than technical issues. One such challenge is striking the right balance between empathy and realism. As a medical student, Marsh found it easy to sympathize with patients since he bore no responsibility for their treatment outcomes. However, as he climbed the professional ladder, shouldering greater responsibility in the fear of failure, Marsh, like many doctors, toughened, distancing himself emotionally in viewing patients as an entirely separate species. This emotional shift does not eliminate the need for hope and empathy. A delicate balance between hope and realism is critical when determining a prognosis. If doctors lean too heavily on hope or despair, patients may either face unjustly hopeless situations or feel betrayed if a supposedly treatable condition proves fatal. Marsh notes that anxiety rises exponentially in the operating room when doctors perform surgery on their peers. When Marsh himself required retinal surgery, his doctor friend saw the request as both an honor and a burden. In such cases, the usual buffer of detachment dissolves, and the surgeon's own fallibility is exposed. Over time, Marsh has noticed his emotional barriers softening. With age, he has grown more accepting of failure and mistakes, realizing that he shares the same inherent vulnerability and fallibility as his patients. This recognition allows him to better navigate the delicate balance of empathy and realism in his profession. Embracing Humility in Medicine Every physician, regardless of their proficiency or experience, is prone to making errors. In acknowledgement of their humanity, doctors must embrace humility and cultivate a genuine understanding that they might not always have full control over a patient's fate. Our protagonist, a neurosurgeon, recalls a regretful instance when he removed too much of a man's brain tumor, which resulted in the patient becoming comatose and spending his life in a care facility. The heavy burden of guilt from this unfortunate event imparted the value of caution, peer consultation, and recognizing limits. Moreover, this lesson empowered the author to develop greater compassion, leading to a more down-to-earth approach both in his career and personal life. He narrates an incident in his life at the supermarket where he gets annoyed at having to wait in a queue but then recollects the importance of being humbled, as the value of his work lies in the lives of others. Neurosurgeons, like everyone else, are subject to the whims of fate, success and failure are seldom entirely within their control. By acknowledging these realities, physicians can improve as professionals and human beings. Navigating Surgical Dilemmas Life's difficult decisions intensify in neurosurgery, as surgeons must weigh the high stakes, unpredictable outcomes, and ethical implications of their actions. From determining whether to operate on patients with potentially disastrous results to contemplating the ethics of euthanasia, these challenges highlight the delicate balance between surgical expertise, individual values, and the unavoidable presence of chance. Ultimately, the absence of clear-cut solutions compels both doctors and patients to confront complex moral questions in pursuit of the best possible outcome. 
In the world of neurosurgery, the pressure to make the right decision can be immensely challenging, as both skill and chance factors can impact a patient's life. When deciding to operate, surgeons must balance the patient's quality of life against the potential risks of surgery. One memorable case involved an athletic patient with a severe tumor, surgery could leave him in a vegetative state, a devastating outcome that demanded careful consideration of his passions and aspirations. Such surgical dilemmas offer no easy answers, extending beyond medical expertise into the realm of ethical, life-or-death decisions. In one instance, a debate arose over whether to operate on an elderly woman with virtually no chance of retaining her independence post-surgery. She preferred death to nursing home confinement, a preference that posed tough ethical questions for her doctors. Euthanasia's morality enters this conversation, asking if a quick, deliberate end to life could sometimes be preferable to prolonged suffering. The author himself, faced with a hypothetical malignant brain tumor diagnosis, considered suicide as the solution. Though he acknowledges the uncertainty inherent in such an unmade choice, death can occasionally be a more merciful outcome. Imagining a life spent in a vegetative state after a failed operation invites the question, is a swift end really worse than enduring such suffering? Balancing Reality and Compassion The human condition is full of complexities, revealing the delicate balance between detachment and passion. Navigating through these complexities in high-stakes environments, such as neurosurgery, can be mentally exhausting. The author of the book shares personal experiences, highlighting life-changing lessons derived from their time spent in a psychogeriatric ward. The author learned firsthand about the limitations of human kindness due to difficult working conditions, and the subsequent consequences when these limits are crossed. Despite the challenges, the book emphasizes that overcoming despair and learning from failures is crucial for growth and improvement. Within the intricacies of the human condition, we often grapple with finding a balance between detachment and passion, optimism and realism. This delicate balance becomes particularly difficult to navigate in high-stakes environments, like neurosurgery. The author, drawing from personal experiences, delves into these complexities. While working as a nursing assistant at a psychogeriatric ward during their student days, the author encountered miserable and unrewarding work. Nonetheless, this experience shed light on the limits of human kindness, specifically the author's personal boundaries. The ward was filled with long-term patients, some of whom underwent lobotomies, a procedure meant to alleviate schizophrenia but, in reality, left patients catatonic and lifeless. The author noted the disturbing absence of medical records for these patients and the lack of checkups on their well-being. This raised concerns about the apathy and callousness of the hospital staff. Though we may idealize the power of human love and kindness, challenging and demoralizing work conditions can bring out destructive traits such as cruelty, indifference, and idleness. Neurosurgeons' lives often include moments of deep despair. Interestingly, studies on personal happiness indicate that bringing joy to others is the most dependable path to achieving it. The author has experienced both the gratification of successful surgeries and the crushing lows of failure and mistakes. Despite these difficulties, our resilience can be our greatest asset. To paraphrase the author's former boss, great surgeons tend to have bad memories. Overcoming despair, accepting failure, and learning from mistakes are essential for growth and becoming better at one's craft. The Do No Harm Summary delves into the complex realm of neurosurgery. Highlighting how doctors navigate the delicate balance between empathy and detachment, hope and realism, amidst life and death decisions. Marsh's personal stories illustrate the challenges medical professionals encounter regarding ethics, responsibility, and the acceptance of their own fallibility. His anecdotes exemplify the importance of humility and experience in becoming both a better doctor and a better person. Furthermore, the book touches on thought-provoking themes such as euthanasia, the limitations of human kindness, and the essential role of learning from mistakes. By exploring the intricacies of the human condition and the power dynamics between doctors and patients, 
Marsha's account ultimately emphasizes the notion that doctors, just like everyone else, are human beings who experience the full spectrum of emotions and challenges.